Hey everyone, this is Tony from XLA.com. Just want to show you guys the new Walkera V400 D02. The V stands for fly barless and D02 stands for collective pitch. So this V400 D02 is a full function uh, fly barless six channel helicopter so you guys can do anywhere from the basic maneuvers to even the 3D aerobatic maneuvers. So it's perfect for anyone who is stepping up from a four channel and looking to get into a six channel 3D aircraft or helicopter. So let's talk a little bit more about this uh, combo that comes with this uh, ready to fly package. First off, you guys can see here is this nice manual. It has a nice, uh, very colorful uh, manual that covers on how to set up the fly barless unit and the helicopter. And also another uh, manual on how to set up this new Walkera 2603 transmitter. Up next is a three cell uh, lithium polymer battery pack. This is a 1200 milliamp battery. So you can fly for anywhere from five minutes to I would say eight minutes, depending on uh, how you guys manage your uh, throttle. Up next is a nice convenient balance charger. So you guys can charge the included battery if you guys so happen to not already own a uh, nice uh, LiPo charger. And Walkera even includes a AC wall adapter. So that's very neat right here, this AC wall adapter. So you guys can charge your uh, battery that comes with the kit. Then we have a bag of accessory that Walkera includes. All right, and you guys are probably wondering what this little metal shiny looking piece is. Well, this piece right here is a fly bar gauge helper or it's actually used to set up the pitch and cyclic when you guys are using a pitch gauge. So that's very neat that Walkera includes this uh, metal pitch gauge adapter. So let's put some of this stuff aside and talk more about the good stuff because you guys are probably tired of me of talking about all the contents and all, everything else. So put some of this aside. And you guys will also need AA batteries to uh, fly your new V400 D02. And what I'm using here is the rechargeable EMV 2200 milliamp battery pack. But you guys could use the regular AA batteries, but I'm using these EMV batteries because they are rechargeable and they're convenient and you guys can use it over and over and they're very good value. So you guys can check it out on xhelia.com or hobbyparts.com. So first off, let's give you guys a nice 360 shot of this Walkira V400 D02. You guys can see it has a nice orange color scheme on there and it, the canopy even has uh, the mock carbon fiber look and I'm a big fan of carbon fiber so that's a big plus to me. It just adds a lot of detail and it, it just gives it that the nice higher end look without paying the extra cost like the higher end models. At the same time, this B400 is very affordable, so perfect helicopter for you guys stepping up from a four channel and looking to get into a six channel. So I'm gonna take out this canopy and show you guys the heart of this helicopter hiding inside or the brains of this whole fly barless unit. You guys can see here, this is the three axis uh, gyro built into the receiver. So it's fully adjustable with all the adjustment tabs right here, the knobs, and you guys can use the included uh, plastic screwdriver to make all of the adjustments, so that's very neat. And you guys can see here, this is the brushed main motor up front and also a brushed tail motor in the rear. And the reason why Walkera chose to use the brushed motors was because it's, uh, it's very affordable and it helps keep the cost down for you guys who are stepping up from a four channel and just, you know, it just makes it a lot easier to replace and it just, it's a lot more affordable. So that's why Walkera used the brushed motor. And here's the ESC on the side since I'm talking about the motor. This is the, this is the new Walkera ESC Actually, it's actually two speed controls, one for the main motor and one for the tail rotor, and it's designed specifically for this B400 D02. You guys can even see on the side, B400 D02. Okay. And this helicopter has three 9-gram servos all the way around. And you guys can see here, two in the rear, one up front. Very nice uh, 120 CCPM setup. And you guys, oh, I don't want to break anything, so I'm not going to move the servos by itself. You guys can see here, very nice uh, aluminum swash plate, very nice anodized, black uh, anodized head right here. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the rear. It has a motor-driven tail motor, so it's not the fancy belt-driven or shaft-driven, but it does help keep the cost down, so that's why this helicopter is a good step up from a four-channel to a six-channel helicopter. So. Enough of me talking about the helicopter, let's bring it up because you guys want to see how this helicopter handles. And I'm going to fly the helicopter on the stock setup with no mods, no nothing else. So let's bring it outside, get the battery charged up, and fly this helicopter for you guys. So let's go. Alright guys, we're outside with the Wakiro V400 D02, so let's take it on up and show you guys how this helicopter flies. Spooling on up. Alright, taking off. And this is actually the second flight with this helicopter. The first flight I took uh, before the video was just to get everything all trimmed out, making sure everything works. And to my surprise, the tracking was pretty much dead on from the, from the box or out of the box, so that's very neat. 
that Wakira actually checked the track in and getting all the adjustments done correctly. And yes, you see I'm flying in a very tight area and this helicopter has no problem. It's very stable and this uh, Wakira unit works very nice. Slide around, show you guys how stable this thing is. And it's a little breezy up there, so it's not a very calm day. You guys can see this helicopter uh, handles very good. Fly it nose in. Right by this uh, semi trailer back here. As you can see, hovering is really raw, solid. Fly just like the uh, fly bar helicopter, so this thing is fly barless. Alright, let me bring her on down and put it in flight mode. Alright, flip on to flight mode. Making sure I have negative. Alright, let's try to flip this baby. This is my first time flipping it, so we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully I don't uh, crash it. So I'm going to bring it up a little high just to make sure. Flipping on over. Oh, look. Inverted. And it flips over really nice. This fly barless system, it's just, it's really crisp and clean, you guys can see there. I'm kind of, and I'm flipping it actually a little too fast, so I'm bogging it down, but you guys can see with the stock brush motor, you have plenty of power for just doing aerobatic flying. You guys can see, uh, I'm flying in a very small, confined space and this helicopter handles really nicely. Getting a little inverted, a little closer to the ground. And this is just my first time actually flipping this helicopter, so I'm still getting used to the feel of it but it handles really nicely. And if you guys want, you guys can fine tune the gyros on there even more to prevent that bobbing effect that you guys are, or if you guys can even see in the video, there's a slight bit of bobbling so the gains are a little high for uh, flipping and stuff, but it flies very nice. So you guys can see there, not a tremendous amount of power, but enough to flip it over. And you guys can see I'm just flipping it, continuous flips right here. Just flipping over and over, you guys can see enough power to flip it and everything and it handles you have to see. And this is not a like a, a hardcore 3D machine so you guys uh, you know do not expect this thing to do hardcore 3D but it will do uh, the simple aerobatics to flip, rolls and loops. Get my big uh, TikToks in, you guys can see there. The tail holds really nice, you know, not to mention that this thing right here is a, uh, is a uh, tail driven uh, system right here, tail motor driven. I do some uh, nose down funnels. Try to keep it a little high because we have some uh, semi trailers right here. As you can see, it handles really nicely. It's a sports flight with no bobbling effect or anything. That's very neat. Battery's getting low, so it's time to land. Oh, just in time too, the battery just went out. So I'm not sure how long it was, but Antonio just reminded me. I'm flying too long on the battery, but you guys can see it there. 
this uh, Wakera V400. These are two flies, really nice. Not to mention, it's the uh, all new Wakera, three axis fly barless setup. And it's in stock now at XLA.com. So check it on out, guys. And this remote is fully programmable. You can set up the pitch range. And also, just a tip too, when you guys do get this helicopter, uh, out of the box, I did find that there was too much pitch programmed on here. So you got to just read through the manual and it'll show you how to uh, adjust the pitch. So we just go to the, the PLT to the PIT option right here, which is the, the pitch adjustment. And you just turn down the pitch a little bit. And this helicopter flies very nicely on the stock setup. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.